you're here for inspection, Lieutenant. We had inspection two days ago. No, I'm not here for inspection. I came here to talk to you. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Well, it seems as if you're not well disposed towards visitors, compañera. What can I do for you? This letter? I wrote it. I received it a few days ago. I sent it to the ministry. Then we need to talk. This letter looks more like a petition or an application. What sort of things are you applying for? <laughs> I'm asking you to put an end to the postal theft. You hold up all my letters from abroad. You open up all my correspondence. I haven't received a letter from my husband in over three months. You're beautiful. Oh, I remember the first day they brought you to the ministry. I couldn't look at you too much. I must say, that picture in your file does not do you justice. I think I should get a photographer in here and photograph you again. I don't like to have my picture taken, Lieutenant. Can you do something about my mail or not? I can do a lot about your mail. You receive a considerable amount of correspondence. Dangerous correspondence. Someone found a weapon inside one of your envelopes the other day. They told me one of our officers at the post office almost bled to death. They found razor blades inside one of your envelopes, compañera. They shouldn't have gone through my mail. Is that provocation, compañera? I just want... Someone sending you razor blades so you can cut someone's throat? Or do you intend to do some harm to yourself? Those were for my legs, Lieutenant. To shave my legs. I saw your razors don't cut it for you. I thought we were going to talk about my mail. I am talking about your mail. This razor are considered a weapon, illegal. Don't you know that? I didn't send them, Lieutenant. I gather this is for your legs too. Lotion the rose, smells of roses, France. And who is this Monsieur Lamont? He writes to you often, he sends you loads of things. What, did you give your legs to this man? Look, I don't think Are you, you in the love legs. with this man? I don't think that's important. Is he your lover? No. No? He's a friend. And all the romantic letters. I don't know about any romantic letters. Uh, you don't know about any romantic no, letters. No, I don't know. How would I know when I don't get any mail? You're pretty good at keeping a straight face when you lie. Your husband in America is slipping correspondence through France using the name André Lamont and you don't know anything about it. I have them all here. I don't know what you're talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Why do you keep on insisting that I know, that I know? What am I supposed to know? What am I supposed to do when I live in this hole? Please, I'm not asking for much. I can't give you any mail. Jamie? What? Where have you been, please? Nowhere. Oh, yeah. It's half one in the morning, actually. Where'd you go? Out. Jamie! You went to Gloucester, didn't you? Look at me. I only went for a drink. That's where gay people go. They go there and they go make millions in debt. It's not just gay people who go there, other people go there. People like you? Yeah. There's no time for lying, James. But it's not a lie. I had a phone call tonight. Oh, you're lucky. From your tutor. Miss Ellis. She's worried about you. Because <laughs> if I go off games, does it mean I'm gay? No. Because someone hit you. Everyone gets hit. And called you queer. And it ain't the first time. She's worried about what it's doing to you. Yeah, well, I'm all right. Are you, Jamie? Because I'm not sure you are. I mean, what am I supposed to think when you, you're going out drinking and coming home at half one? Getting it? Getting moody? 
I mean, I don't think you are. Not when I am, so go back to bed. Oh, I'll go when I'm good and ready, if you don't mind. I'm tired. You're pissed. No, I'm not. Pissed from a bloody gay Oh, bar. how do you know he's gay, anyway? Because he's got a bloody great big pink neon arse outside of it. Jamie, I'm in the business. I get to know these things. You've been spying on me? No. Someone at work seen you going. Well, it don't mean I'm gay. Going in with another boy. So who was that? Steve. Steve? Right. That still don't mean I'm gay. Not to mind their own business. That's what I said. Well then. What's you going on at me for? Because sometimes, Jamie, I can put two and two together and make bloody four. I'm not stupid, you know. No, I never said you were. So I think I deserve an explanation. So I went for a drink. Big deal. Everyone in my class goes drinking. They don't all go to the bloody Gloucester, though, do they? Well, some take drugs. They ain't doing that. Bloody hope you're not. Oh, well, thanks. Thanks a bundle. Oh, look, go back to bed. I can't sleep, Jamie. Yeah, well, don't take it out on me. Jamie, will you just talk to oh, me? Look, I'm knackered. Jamie, please, talk to me. Well, what about? I'm your mother. Yeah. Some things are hard to say. I know. I know that, Jamie. Not weird if that's what you're thinking. You're not love. You think I'm too young. You think it's just a, a phase. You think I'm going to go and catch AIDS and, and everything. Well, you know a lot about me, don't you? Jesus, you want to get on that mastermind? Specialised subject, your mother. Look, don't cry. I'm not going to put you out like an empty bottle in the morning. Jesus, I thought you knew me well enough to know that. Why couldn't you talk to me, eh? Going behind my back like that, getting up to all sorts. There's me going to bed of the night, feeling sorry for you because you had to share a bed with Steve. And all the time you were... You were doing the 70 minus one. What? Think about it. Did you talk to him? What do you mean him to say? He's 16 years of age, Jamie. What pearls of wisdom can he throw your way? He ain't seen life. He's never even had holiday. It's difficult, isn't it? Am I that much of a monster? No. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like the lad, always have. All I'm saying is he's young. Yeah, but he's good to me. Is he? Yeah. <laughs> 